countless horrifying stories that are coming out of Ukraine, many of them involve children. The images that you are about to see are disturbing, I will warn you. But it's important for the world to see the faces of these children and to hear their stories. These are pictures taken at the Zaporizhia Regional Children's Hospital. Doctors allowing the British publication The Telegraph to publish them, saying that they hope the images will make a strong impression on the world about the horrors of war, particularly on its youngest victims. Joining me now to explain these photos in greater detail is one of the reporters on this story, investigative journalist Tanya Kozireva. Uh, Tanya, these are tough pictures to look at. These kids in the middle of this, the biggest victims of this. Can you tell us their stories? First, I'd like for you to tell us about Masha. And just to be clear, the headline on the story is Masha is 15, her body is broken, and Russians say she's a fake. Tell us about Masha. So the whole the whole scene that we witnessed it was it was horrible and a nightmare we um we entered this room intensive care a room of the regional Zaporizhia hospital and there was uh, three kids and all of them like two of them was not in conscious and uh, Masha was the only one who you know who was reacting uh on what is going on uh she um she she could she could speak but uh we we decided not to disturb her um and uh we just saw uh you know this grim picture of very young and beautiful uh ukrainian girl who is only 15 years old but who already had uh, her right knee amputated uh, her right um leg i mean amputated about the knee and uh, her uh, right hand is also shredded by the shrapnel that got into there <clears throat> got into her and masha i had to tell you masha is from uh, polohe this is uh, the small town near, near zaporizhia and um, it's a town where there is no military base and there is no uh, military objects and and she just caught this shrapnel in her, into her body while she was walking uh, around her town with her mother. So mother covered her from the shrapnel, but um, as her grandmother told us the story, this story, this grim story, she told us that uh, her mother covered her daughter, uh, but when she, you know, when she woke up, she saw, you know, legs. Yeah. And like this you know this very grim picture and um when we spoke to grandmother um to Ma Ma masha's grandmother she um she was crying valentina she you know she, she she's like crushed i think forever just because two dearest um, members of her family uh, had this wound forever you know 